Hello everyone, today I'm going to explain analysis of Indian tissue of elastomeric film foam specimen with hemispherical punch. I hope so that you all know about the uh, elastomeric materials, uh, but though I will tell some other examples that is cushion and padding and pa uh, packaging materials. Uh, so now I'm going to analyze the axisymmetric model with the static condition. This problem can be analyzed by static condition and also dynamic condition. Here I'm going to use the static condition. Let's create the part that is punch, axisymmetric, and uh, uh, analytical rigid. Spherical punch. This radius is two hundred mm. As it is radius, we need to define the reference point. So first of all, I will create the direct point, which will be offset from the center by ten mm. The x axis uh, in the uh, along the y axis, so done. And this y now let's create the reference point, select that datum point, and here's the reference point. Now create the another part that is specimen isosymmetric and it is deformable shell. Okay, approximate size 1000. This radius is 600 and this thickness is 300 mm. This all problems you will get into the uh, get in the again in Abacus tutorials. Please go through it and for the theory also. Without reading theory, don't go ahead. I will recommend you. Let's create the material model in the pro material model in the property model and name it as foam general density and then in the mechanical elasticity and hyperform. So what are these parameters? Mu one alpha one mu one. Uh, if you if you have this parameter you can give directly otherwise uh, use stage data. Now what are these parameters? So I will show you Elastic foam energy function uh, uh, for highly compressible elastomer is the elastic uh, elastic foam energy function, and from this uh, this function, this uh, mu and alpha one and beta one are taken. So if you have these values, you can give it directly. Uh, otherwise, use stage data. Abacus will perform nonlinear nonlinear square fit to determine these values directly uh, from the uh, test data. So I have updated. I'm going to opt use test data because um, because of our in the Bacus tutorial uh, uni excel test data and simple shell test data uh, are given so uni excel test data now first of all stay energy potential order that is the n is equals to 2 I will set it to 2 and use constant passion so we can ignore lateral stent uh, stent test data so and it is set to 0 so and uh, it will make uh, make the value of beta uh, to zero to zero because beta is uh, dependent on the uh, on uh, this uh, Python ratio. So and model time scale for viscoelasticity is a uh, instantaneous. Okay, now let's the input to the inertia is data. As we have ignored uh, lateral stent data, there is no need to define, not need to define this uh, nominal lateral stent. Okay, so, so okay, and then simple shear stress data is also given. Okay, now we need to define the elastic uh, viscoelastic uh, behavior. 
there are two domains frequency domain and time domain so I'm going to use the time domain uh, the time is uh, the data is given according to time domain and what's the Brony series so is the Brony series uh, just go through the uh, theory before you just analyze something related to viscoelastic or hyperbolic material so n g i p and t i g i are material constant these are the and if you can uh, there are uh, there is another there are some other uh, uh, there are some methods by which this parameter can be defined so there are three uh, creep test data relation test data and frequency data so i'm going to use relation test data because the relation test uh, curve data is given i have already uh, extracted that data from the uh, tutorial so i'm going to use that and test data in this uh, shear test data is given so this uh, long term normalized shear compliance are modulus is 0.5 and this year normal uh, this year bulk modulus uh, bulk modulus is uh, with respect to time now this is all about material behavior done now let's create the section uh, solid homogeneous and let's assign this section to the specimen done the section is uh, imported from the section we created and the thickness uh, assignment is from section done now enter into the assembly model and create the out of set apply and then punch now put them into the absolute position so we will just use the quiz to point point now let's convert this constraint into the absolute position Now it's fully constrained. The instance has no position constraint because it was a, uh, it was fully constrained. So, so there was uh, no constraint, no position constraint to convert it into absolute position. Okay. I don't need this uh, data system, so I'll delete it and I'll create another system. So, um, CSY three points rectangular. So here is the origin point on x axis and point in x vertex okay, now let's create this uh, let's get steps so step one which will move the move the punch into the downward direction by 250 mm and so step one static gender and one on and it's 200 and then inside let's say 0 0.015 and let's say it's 9 it's better to give as a value 0.05 okay now another step which will move back the points to its original position so static gender and time is 0.05 and this is 200 no, nine, this is all about step now let's make this part Define first uh, constant for the rigid body, it's a non rigid body, an analytical surface, and this is the create surface. Done. Hello. Okay. Now reference point. Pick. Wait. Okay. Now I have constant, uh, constant it as a rigid body. Now let's mesh this, this specimen because we need to create one surface with the mesh edges and I will show you uh, control element type so element library standard and geometric ordered linear and the uh, family is axisymmetric stress and yeah, I'm going to use that I will keep this uh, as default because um, as I, I will keep default I'm not going to explain why uh, I'm keeping this also because I'm going to show you the uh, show you just uh, this simple procedure for it so keep this default a four node bilinear, um, bilinear axisymmetric quadrilateral reduce integration our lock control 
Okay. Oh. Edges. Let's miss these edges. Uh, sweet. Okay. Use single bias and 35. And click this direction. Done. Okay. Hmm. Now why I kept mm, kept uh, the mesh uh, at the center really uh, like a little refined because at that uh, uh, in that reason the punch will be in contact with the specimen so mesh will, uh, must be a uh, little bit uh, uh, fine uh, in that reason uh, just I'm not going to create much uh, much uh, uh, elements in that uh, the whole specimen so it's just uh, it is okay with this. Uh, the number of elements 450 elements have been generated so no need to define now more, uh, more generate more number of elements so i will create the surface because i need to define the interaction so surface 2 and specimen Define the interaction. First of all, interaction property, interaction property type contact, and mechanical tangential behavior and friction formula is use uh, use is a penalty uh, with a rough uh, rough uh, rough contact uh, and the friction coefficient is given 0.8. Okay. Now let's define the interaction between the bunch and the specimen. So in the initial step, surface to surface contact. So we have surface one and continue and final sliding discretion may be used uh, surface to node to surface and contact interaction property is already uh, defined. So the rest of the option keep default. This is all about interaction. Now let's create the boundary condition. So in the first boundary condition, I'm going to uh, I'm going to constrain the bottom edge in the U and the X direction and Y direction. So U1 and U2 is equals to zero. Now in, a, in another boundary condition that is uh, for this edge. So it will be for axisymmetric condition. U1 is equals to zero. Now let's define another boundary condition for the punch, which will be defined at the reference point in the initial step. At the reference point, uh, I will constrain the U1 and U3. So okay. Now in the step two, step one, I will displace this punch in the in the downward direction by 250 mm. So let's. U2 minus 250. Now in step 2, I will just displace that uh, punch to its original position. So let's set it equals to 0. It is equals to 0. Now before you proceed, make sure that bounding condition 4 is inactive, otherwise it will throw some error that is uh, that is uh, some boundary conditions are defined simultaneously at uh, one one node or point so i'm going to deactivate boundary condition 4 that is displacement of 250 mm and then in the field step 2 i'm going to same I have one let's go to every one every small part property defined assembly done 
save done okay interaction done load done mesh done let's create a job job to model to to show you the indentation of the, uh, the specimen elastomer foam specimen so uh, you can see the indentation and how it is acting You can see the contact pressure values. So this is all about the analysis of the indentation of an elastomeric bone specimen with hemispherical punch. I hope so. If you understand everything, I'm going to understand everything. Uh, if you have any query, just write me. Uh, write me, and I will be I will be coming with next problem soon. Thank you for watching. Knowledge grows when shared.